Alright, so in this video we're going to look at the Fischer esterification of a carboxylic acid. We're going to examine its mechanism. And I have written out here the chemical equation. We have our carboxylic acid. We have our alcohol, in this case a primary alcohol. It's going to be done in an acidic environment. And then out of that we're going to get our ester. And we're going to get water as a byproduct. So let's start off by examining what happens in this reaction. So we're going to start off with our carboxylic acid, just like this. Draw out our carboxylic acid here. Don't forget to give your oxygen its valence electrons. It's a non-bonding pair here. And it's going to be taken out in an acidic environment. So what happens here is that we have our acid floating around. And since this oxygen over here is very dense in electron density, we have this partial negative charge coming up here. So these electrons here are going to be attracted to this positively charged free-floating hydrogen or our little positively charged proton here. So that's going to happen, and that'll form our next step here. Now, draw this out here. So that's that part. But then we're also going to have our oxygen up here, now with only one non-bonding pair, as it's going to be bonded to this, this uh, hydrogen here. And that's going to give this site positive charge. So since we have a charge here, some of us may be thinking that we have a resonance structure possible, and we do. So we'll draw out our resonance. We'll put that here. Oop. Get our oxygen attached to our hydrogen. get its electrons back. And we see here that that double bond that was here is now a single bond because the electrons went up to the oxygen. So that's going to leave the charge here, the positive charge here. Which is good for us because in this step we're going to have our primary alcohol come in And since oxygen and our primary alcohol, again, is going to have that partial negative charge, it's going to be attracted to this site here. It's going to come and attack that site. And it's going to bond. So I'm just going to, since I'm running out of space, draw down here. And we're going to be left with this. attached to our carbon. So we see here that our this was our alcohol, kind of flipped it around, but we still see that our oxygen here bonded to the alcohol. Or yeah, our, our oxygen from the alcohol bonded to this carbon here from our old carboxylic acid, which is now in its intermediate steps. I know it can get a little cluttered here, so feel free to rewind as as necessary. Just bear with me here as I finish this up. Okay, so that oxygen attacked this positive site here on the carbon, attached itself, so now we have a positive charge on this oxygen. But that's not all. This carbon over here sees that there's this free-floating hydrogen, so what's going to happen is this hydrogen is going to go from here up to here because of these electrons here. Oops. So 
So we have that. So let me redraw what we have now. So that's this guy over here. This oxygen and this R group is going to come out over here to the side. We'll have an, that's this R group here. And this oxygen here. Now there's going to be a positive charge over here. And electrons. Make sure all our dots are in order. All right. So again, we're going to have a situation where this hydrogen is going to come off and go away. And we're going to have this come here, these come here, and then this come here to form a double bond. And that's going to leave us with our product. It's going to leave us with our R group here. There's our ester. There's our water. And our acid comes out at the end as well. So this is acid catalyzed since we get our acid out in the end as well. So those are the steps of a Fister, Fischer esterfi esterification, it's a mouthful, um, of a carboxylic acid. There's the mechanism. I know that there's kind of a lot on the board and a lot happened, but just follow the arrows and rewind if need be, and uh, try writing it out yourself a couple times, and uh, you know see if you can get it. And then if you want further practice, Go ahead and give yourself a little bit more of a real-world situation by plugging in things for these R's, any kind of carboxyl group or any kind of carbon chain, carbonyl, anything you want. Plug them in there and then see what you get. Just remember to follow the steps and you should be fine. All right, thanks.